Minister for Barry Innisville. After eight years of this Prime Minister, it's come down to this. While I was at community events this weekend, several people I spoke to were telling me how hard it is to pay their bills. I heard stories of seniors living in cold because home heating costs have doubled. The carbon tax is not helping. Community fridges are being empty as quick as they're being filled. Working families are using food banks, and moms are struggling to pay to keep the roof over their heads. When will the Prime Minister realize the pain he's causing, quit blaming everyone else for the problems he's created, and do something about it? And he can start by scrapping the costly carbon tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honourable Minister for Family. Mr. Speaker, unlike the Conservatives, we are actually doing something about it. In fact, since 2015, we've brought in a number of measures to make sure that life is more affordable for the lowest income Canadians, whether that's the Canada Child Benefit that's helping 9 out of 10 families, whether that is decreasing the eligible age for old age security from 67, which, by the way, the Conservatives tried to raise back down to 65, increasing old age security for those over 75 by 10 percent. Mr. Speaker, we have been there, will continue to be there, and Mr. Speaker, Speaker, I just hope that if the Conservatives were sincere in their care for those vulnerable, they would support us. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for dorval lachine Mr. Speaker, every day food is wasted in production, processing, uh, distribution, retail, food service, and in the home. In fact, Canada wastes more than half of its food supply. To counter this, our government introduced the Food Waste Reduction Challenge. Uh, this is an initiative with $20 million in funding. Can the Minister update this House on the progress of this program? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government has committed to reducing the economic, environmental and social consequences of food waste. A few days ago, I announced the six finalists for the Innovative Technology Streams, uh, who will now receive up to $450,000 to test their technologies.